and welcome to another episode of Badminton Weekly with me, Jasmine Lim. The Total Energy's BWF 30 Run Cup Finals are well underway, but today we're taking you behind the scenes for an exclusive look at what really goes on before one of the most prestigious tournaments in the world of badminton. Join us as players take you along for the tournament's welcome dinner and give you an insider's perspective on the playing conditions at the Suzhou Olympic Sports Center. But first, let's hear from China's women's doubles pair, Chen Tingchen and Jia Yifang, as they share with us just how special it is for them to defend the title on their home turf. Jishin的氛围还是很好的,每个人都有,呃,每个人的压力吧,因为那个中国也确实有三年没有承办这种大型比赛了,而且在一九年我们在南宁的时候确实也是,呃,表现得非常非常好,所以我们每个人都有自己
Now, Chen and Xia aren't the only ones excited to be playing in front of their home crowd. Players from other countries are also thrilled to be back in China since the pandemic, and they were treated to a special welcome dinner a few days before the start of the tournament. Here is what went down in the night as players let down their hair and enjoyed a great night together off court. Hi, Badminton Weekly, it's me, Tina, and I'm here in Suzhou for the Suriman Cup Finals. And tonight, there's a welcome dinner for all the teams. So I'm going to bring you there. So let's get ready. Hey guys, so welcome to my room, and definitely this is where I'll be getting ready for tonight's dinner. And this uh, would be my clothes for tonight. I think what I really like about this is definitely the colour of it because I've seen many other different colours but I think out of all this is definitely one of my favourites. Carrying the Malaysian flag on uh, your chest it's really a good feeling because uh, you're representing your country for these games and when I first got the shirt with MT Na Malaysia that was like a very goosebump moment for me because I've never gotten a shirt with my name in the country so seeing the Malaysian flag or uh, just like this tournament shirt yeah I'm really proud and I'm really excited for this tournament. So guys, I'm going to get ready for dinner tonight. So what I'm doing, I'm going to hand you over to Team India Shirak Sethi at the banquet hall. So see you at dinner tonight. Thanks, Tina. Uh, hey guys, this is Chirak Shetty. Uh, we are here at the Sudhirman Cup welcome dinner and it's about to start. Uh, and Team India is ready for it. So let's go. As you can see, everybody is having a really good time. Uh, we just are having our dinner. And so let's go ask a few questions to my teammates. So Anupama, uh, it's your first Sudhirman Cup. Uh, how excited are you? I'm very excited. And please don't make me dance today. That's all I think. <laughs> so uh, for all the viewers, uh, we are making our the team members who are playing the Sudhirman Cup for the very first time dance. So that's why she's a bit scared right now. But don't worry, you will be fine. Okay? Take a chill pill. Next up, uh, we have uh, Teresa Jolly, our women's double specialist, currently ranked 15 in the world. 17? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> next week, next week you will be 15. <laughs> I know her ranking better than her. So it's the first Sudhiman Cup. So uh, how excited are you? I think, yeah, obviously I am excited because team event is always special for us. Yeah, obviously the team support and all good. Before we uh, wrap it up, we'll ask the queen of Indian badminton, PV Sindhu. You are a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, how excited are you? Um, very excited. Of course, uh, we are here. I mean, as you must have seen, our hashtag is here to conquer. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, very excited. So, looking forward for the tournament to start. And I think we're going to rock it. We will definitely rock it. Let's go and surprise one of my teammates that he doesn't know I'm doing this. So, let's have, ask him how's the night tonight. Uh, Mr. Aaron Chia. <laughs> so, here we have uh, Aaron Chia. So, how are you enjoying tonight? Yeah, yeah, very enjoying. The food, very nice. Very full already. Okay, that's great. Um, so, how how excited are you for the tournament, the Suriman Cup final? Of course, very excited. Has been really long time not having here in China. After a few years, we are looking forward for the Suriman Cup. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Harry. <laughs> uh, so here's still missing. Uh, so how are you enjoying tonight so far? Uh, yeah, uh, all the foods are very nice, and I ate a lot. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> so, how excited are you for the Suriman Cup Finals this year here in China? Uh, uh, it's been a long time I came to China, so I really feel that uh, they organized it very well. And I'm very excited and I hope uh, the match will be very, very nice to watch. Yeah.
Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Please support us throughout this week. Let's go Team India. No, let's go Team Malaysia. See you on court soon. The welcome dinner definitely looked like a night to remember, but now let's refocus our attention on the courts. This is the first time the tournament is held at the Suzhou Olympic Sports Center, so let's head courtside of England's Ben Lane and Sean Bendy as they talk us through the playing conditions of the hall and provide an insight as to whose playing style it suits best. Yeah, I haven't been to China for five years, since 2018. Um, it's great to be back. Obviously, China put on an amazing show for all badminton events. Um, the last time I was here was for a World Championships, and yeah, um, amazing arena as always. It's actually my first time in China, but yeah, so far it's been really good. Uh, we've been treated really nice, the food's really nice. Um, yeah, I, I've only got good things to say, and I can't wait to come back, I'm not even left. Initially, before we came here, I thought it would be slow, uh, but it's actually not too slow uh, uh, while we're training. Um, I think there's a bit of a drift from where we're sitting to the far side. Yeah, like, not, not too bad and the courts are fairly similar. I'd yeah, I would say they're, they're all pretty similar. It's actually pretty nice in it. It's not too, it's not too cold, it's not too hot. It's a good temperature um, considering it's quite hot outside at the minute. But yeah, generally in Asia, it's, it's quite big arenas and usually pretty drifty. Um, which is just another challenge and we love the challenge so. We've noticed when we've been just practicing in here it's quite hard to defend um, because the shuttles fly quite quick when you go flat so yeah definitely attacking playing side will win in here. I'm sure the conditions will be slightly different when we actually start the tournament um, but yeah uh, we'll, ju we'll just have to sort of adapt to, to when we know the conditions on the day. Yeah you know I, I feel like the, the mood in the team is really good. Um, we're almost like the experienced ones now, which is which is mad. I feel, I feel like time's flying because it feels like yesterday I was the the one coming here with no experience, and now the her younger players in the team are kind of looking up to us for for help and guidance. Um, but yeah, it's it's really exciting for them, you know, to to be around the likes of Victor Axelsson and people like that, you know, around the hotel. It's really exciting for them, and everyone's excited. So yeah. I think actual badminton preparation is not too... I think it's pretty similar to any normal tournament. You know, we have to go on and perform in men's doubles. It's, you know, not, we're not all of a sudden going to start playing singles. So I think our individual um, preparation is the same as any other tournament. You know, we prepare for our match as if we would if it was a first round or a quarter final of a normal tournament. Um, obviously, there's a slightly different feel because the team are by the side of the court, which is great. And, you know, it's, it, we experienced it at the Commonwealth Games last summer where the team for the team event, the players are right by the side of the court, so they, you know, it's always great when you can hear them there cheering you on. Yeah. The special thing is that it, this is the pinnacle of team events, and we were unsure whether we'd qualify this year. We have a really tough European group, which we had to uh, qualify for the semi-final, and we did that, and then now we're here, it's like, okay, now we can try and show what we can do. I mean, it's, it's obviously it's a very tough ask to get out of the group. We have Japan, Korea, and France. Um, so we just got to take it, yeah, every game as it comes and, and who knows, we're obviously here to try and cause an upset. Um, probably not expected to get out of the group, but I think have a small chance if everyone plays well. Well, that brings us to the end of today's show. We hope this has whet your appetite for more action from the Suderman Cup. Don't forget, you can always catch the latest news, live updates, and match statistics from Suzhou on the BWF app, Badminton for You. As always, we love to hear your thoughts, comments, and questions on the Facebook and YouTube pages. With that, I'll see you next week.